Networking, Security, and Wireshark. So while I still believe that learning networking from the ground up, meaning from the protocol level up, is incredibly important for any aspiring network analyst or engineer uh, or security expert, I'm also a believer in adopting to new tools and techniques. And one of those techniques that I'm going to share with you today is how to use AI models to analyze packet captures for you. So in this example, I'm using ChatGPT's O1 model. Uh, you can also use the DeepSeq R1 model. DeepSeq is a new uh, open source LLM coming out of China that came out just recently. I was going to use this one for the demo today, actually, but unfortunately, this is the day after DeepSeq uh, crashed the stock market and it's the, the servers have been under way too much load. So I'm over doing it in ChatGPT01, um, which works just as well. It's just it's paid version instead of free. Now, the O1 model in ChatGPT and the R1 model in DeepSeq are reasoning models. Reasoning model is an LLM that doesn't just give you a straight answer from its training. It actually thinks through problems, which for the purpose of packet analysis is actually very advantageous because there could be multiple reasons why, say, a connection is failing or slow. And you really need to think through all the different parameters and scenarios that could cause that. So I'm going to show you how to take a packet capture, feed it into that GPT-01, and we're going to see it solve problems live. The capture I'm going to use for the first demo is of a failed TLS handshake. Now, I'll link to the video below where I explain how to troubleshoot TLS handshakes the manual way. Um, but this one is actually fairly straightforward. Um, I'm using the Bad SSL website. I'll also link there because it's a good site to use for training on SSL. But in effect, it is an expired certificate issue where there's a client hello, a server hello, certificate exchange where the server exchanges a certificate with me, the client. And then after acknowledging that certificate, I close the connection. And the reason being is that this certificate, if you actually dig into it, let's find the cert. Certificate, 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 signed certificate, validity is expired. It expired in 2020. So let's see how well ChatGPT does at spotting the same thing. So one of the first things we need to do before we can get the model to analyze the file is convert the file to hex bytes, meaning each packet is represented by its actual bytes in hex. Um, ChatGPT and DeepSeq don't support uh, PCAP files, so you need to actually give it text to look at. So what I'm going to do is a command in uh, command prompt in Windows. There's an equivalent command in Linux you can find. Um, I'm in the folder with my sample, and the file I want to use is this file here, TLS handshake expired cert. So I'm going to run the T-Shark command. T-Shark is a command from Wireshark, which uh, is effectively the command line version of the same tool, uh, similar to TCP dump. So I'm going to run tshark dash r uh, file name of the one I want to convert tls handshake underscore expired cert dot pcapng dash x, and then I'm going to output that with an arrow to out. Uh, we're going to do raw bytes dot txt. So when I take a look at that file, raw bytes, you can see what's outputted is all of the packets one by one. This is packet one, packet two, packet three. And here is a representation of the actual bytes in the packet in hex. Now, these large language models can read hex, they can read binary, they can read any form of human-generated language, um, you know, digital language being one of them. So let's see how well it interprets this and finds what I've found, which is an expired certificate. So back in chat GPT, uh, I'm going to make sure I've got the O1 model selected, and I'm going to give it a little bit of a prompt. I'm going to say, I have a connection issue between two hosts. I've attached a packet byte stream from a packet capture I took. Please analyze and tell me what's wrong. Hit enter. 
So, it's thinking. I read it's talking to me about handshake failures. And there it is. Looks like the client is connecting to expired.badassistel.com. Service certificate is indeed expired. It was only valid until April 12th, 2015. That's why the TLS handshake fails. That's pretty awesome, right? If I go back to that capture, I did mention this certificate down here that expired in 2020. But if I go to the actual root, and I go to, excuse me, go to the science cert and validity, it's 2015, which is exactly what it mentions, right? So that is a, it seems like a fairly straightforward example. Um, if you know packet analysis, right? You look at an expired cert. Imagine this being uh, built into an automated workflow where packet data is being fed from multiple different locations into the AI to look for problems. And for people who don't necessarily know networking or anything about uh, packet analysis, it's pretty cool. Let's try it on a couple more scenarios. For the second scenario, we're using another capture. This is also a TLS handshake failure, but a slightly different variation. The certificate is fine in this case. The problem in this is the key exchange mechanism. It's using Diffie-Hellman 512, which is the key exchange algorithm, which is no longer imported. So let's see if ChatGPT picks that up. I already have the packet bytes converted. So I'm going to copy them. Go to ChatGPT. I have a connection issue between hosts. I'm Including packet bytes from a PCAP. Please analyze and analyze and solve. So it's thinking it through. This is a bit a little bit more advanced. You know, there are some vendor tools out there that will actually spot expired certificates on the wire. So that one's a little bit easier. Let's see what happens with this. Looks like you're hitting DH512, badssl.com, which uses the 512-bit DH key. Modern TLS stacks reject short DH keys as insecure. So, two for two, it's actually solved that one as well. Let's try the third one. All right, last one. Another TLS handshake failure. This time, the capture is a little bit more dirty. It's got some other traffic in there. But, in effect, it's a cipher issue. Um, the client hello is offered from myself with a bunch of cipher suites. We've got 21 cipher suites. Um, we get an acknowledgement from the server and then a fatal handshake failure description. I know from uh, the scenario and from bad SSL that this is because this server is expecting an RC4 cipher and I'm not offering it because it's a deprecated cipher. So let's see what ChatGPT picks up. So let's go back to the prompt. I'm gonna type it again, connection issue. I am attaching packet bytes. Please troubleshoot. Every time I do this, I'm doing less and less text to see if it works. I'm going to attach it, hit enter, and go. Now, you see here where it says thinking? In the DeepSeq model, it'll actually tell you all the steps it's taking, and like almost like show you the conversation it's having with itself. That GPT doesn't do that for some reason, but it's actually really cool. So if you get DeepSeq working, um, it's this exact same technique, but just keep an eye on it. It, it looks pretty cool. So let's see what it says. Your capture shows the TCP handshake succeeds, but the TLS handshake fails. Specifically, there's a TLS alert, which is handshake failure. The RC4 bad SSL host only accepts RC4 ciphers. Your client isn't offering any it likes. You need to enable the RC4 cipher in your TLS settings. I don't even know how it knew that. Because generally speaking, um, if a server doesn't have ciphers which uh or doesn't support your cipher it's not going to tell you the cipher list it supports it's just going to reject your connection so i honestly don't understand where it got this from i don't know if it went in the background and connected to that server on its own um, and certainly the file name isn't included in the packet bytes so it's actually pretty cool i wonder if it made an inference based on this or it actually connected to badssl.com but three for three three packet captures three solutions picked out by ChatGPT right away. That's it for today's video. To support the channel, please like and subscribe. You can also find links below, including my free home network monitoring app, NetProbe, and to my distributed ISP monitor, NetStats. Until next time.